My name is Christian Martin, ANC MPL, Eastern Cape Provincial Legislature in South Africa. We as the Khoi and Sand people came to a decision to have a protest at the retail Beacon Bay shopping center in East London. It is in connection with the East London Zoo where we feel that wild animals should be in the wild with other animals. At the moment, there's especially the four wild animals at the zoo, like the jaguar, the bear, the baboon, as well as the cape vulture. We decided to stay in a cage, a man-made cage, 2.5 in width, 3 meters long and 2 meters high. And we decided to stay for 11 days, 11 nights within this cage and most of the time just come out to go to the loo. But for us, it is worth um, coming out for, on behalf of these animals. What we decided is to be the voice for the voiceless, to speak on behalf of these animals. What we want to achieve, we want to transform the zoo in a recreational, botanical and remembrance garden. So through that, our children will still be able to learn more about the medicinal plants of the koi and the sand, the indigenous trees, as well as enjoy themselves through the recreational park. We also want the zoo to become part of a remembrance garden. A remembrance garden because the Eastern Cape is known as the province of adventure as well as the province of legends. Most of South Africa's legends like the Nelson Mandela's, Walter Sassoulos, Oar Tambos, David Stierman, Sarah Bartman and many others comes from and hails from this province. Therefore we feel that this zoo can be put to better use to become a garden of remembrance, recreational park as well as a botanical garden. And we strongly believe with the help of everybody we can achieve this goal to make a dream of the voiceless come true by being their voice and speak on their behalf so that they can be set free in a sanctuary or in a wild game reserve. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Khan and I represent Ban Animal Trading here in East London. Ban Animal Trading is a non-profit organization and what we do is we try to end all forms of animal exploitation such as circuses, zoos and aquariums. So we are wanting to transform the East London Zoo simply because the animals are isolated and small in countries and we want to send them to sanctuaries and, and transform the zoo into botanical gardens. So we don't want any jobs to be lost, but we just want to free the animals. ultimate naturalists. They live close to nature. They survive off nature. They are some of the greatest hunter-gatherers the world has ever seen. They are on a par with the North American Red Indian, the Amazonian Indians, the Eskimos. And they have looked off the land. We feel like Nelson Mandela when he was released. The first thing he wanted his children to touch. <laughs> Thank you very much and we really want to thank, we are going to do the vote of thanks down there but for us and the people that actually inspired us and says go on, only two days left, one day left, we really want to be grateful um, towards all of yourselves. Thank you very much. I just want to the two for Christian himself is an MP. And so he's fighting for the rights of the sands every single day of his life. But he doesn't see the rights of um, humans and animals as any different. And we just did an interview with Catherine here, and she said exactly the same thing. So we're on Human Rights Day, but I'd like to see in five years' time or, or less where animal rights and human rights become one. Because animals... You know, the bear that you'll see, the two jaguars you'll see in the zoo, 
and there's some lions as well. Those, they've, they have not committed any crime. It's not like they're in lockdown for rape or murder. These animals are there as exhibits for the pleasure of human beings. It is totally not right. And, you know, as Bob Dylan says, the times are a changing. And it's people like yourselves, like-minded people, that can make this change. Yes, we have spent 11 days in the cage, sleeping in the cage. Um, I must say it was not a very comfortable experience, but it was exactly the purpose and intent for us to experience what these animals must go through, um, which are not living like the bear, are 34 years in the zoo, not in its own habitat. So for us only living 11 days within a cage, we can never compare that. You know, the, the thing is, in the cage you can become frustrated. Um, it's definitely have a psychological, mental um, effect on yourself, your body, your mind. Um, getting disorientated and so forth. So, yes, the experience, the other problem that we experienced is there was no um, stimulation for the body, for the mind. You see the same things all over again the whole day and for 11 days it become really really not something nice um, to experience now you must think the animals inside here that don't have any natural stimulation what those animals must go through on a daily basis i would say it borders on serious extreme abuse and also on cruelty my name is Elizabeth Khan and I'm a representative of Van Animal Trading here in East London. Okay, tell us how do you think such a have a major effect? Well we're hoping so. We're gathering momentum day by day and we've had a lot of people supporting us, especially with online petitions and visiting our store at Beacon Bay, Retail Park. So yes, I'm hoping so. What are you In, uh, in Koya, I would like to greet you, Kite says. Greetings all, wassalamu alaikum, welcome. Uh, Wamkalim Kile, from wherever you travel, that we, we leave good some road students here. Welcome, guys. And if from, I want to welcome everybody from near and far to this very important historic event here for the transformation of the East London Zoo. I just want to thank you for the effort. We could have celebrated with a bride on the beach. We could have been somewhere else enjoying life. But there's life that are at lives that are suffering in the zoo. You know, if I can just share a bit of history, we, the koi in the sand, was like the animals. Our forefathers was hunted. Our Sarah Bartman was in a cage transported overseas. So this, for me, is, is a very important event and to our, our, our koi community and to bat. We want to say thank you for your support and, 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 and rallying people around here. Welcome. I trust that God will make this event successful and know it's going to go from glory to glory and from strength to strength. This is the beginning of great things. We have parted and we are going to just go from and fight for our animals' rights because there's rights on this Human Rights Day. We are here to just come and pledge our support. And uh, I've, been, I've spent 11 days in a cage. Uh, my body knows only tiles. <laughs> I've eaten vegan for 11 days and a very healthy life. Uh, and I, I feel very much good now. Uh, I thank the vegan support, uh, the community for supporting us and all the shops around. Thank you. You did a great job. Three meals a day, 
water on time, coffee in the morning. Uh, guys, you are the best. Thank you very much. I thank you. No, 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 not yet. Him, the two of you, um, the way I've done it together, I will count, just stand next to them, I will count, you will do the symbolic gesture to show us that this is what we wish for the animals inside. I'm on the count of three. One, two, three.